We are once again pumping up the volume for Topic 12, Lesson 5, and today's learning target is, I can use a formula to determine the volume of a rectangular prism. Go ahead and pause the video and make sure you have all of this written down at the top of your page. All right, here's today's vocabulary words. Our first one is base. That is the area of the bottom of a rectangular prism. Remember, to find area, we would find the length times the width. So the base is the area of the bottom of a rectangular prism. Our next word is volume. That is, of course, is the number of cubic units needed to fill a solid. And as we learned in our last lesson, to find the volume, you find the length times the width times the height. And then a cubic unit is simply the volume of a cube, one unit on each edge. It could be a cubic centimeter, cubic inch, but anytime you are answering a question for volume, your label is going to be cubic and then whatever that unit happens to be. Go ahead and pause the video and fill this vocabulary in. All right, it's all about the base. Yes, it is. Can you find the volume of the rectangular prism if the area of the base is given. So here we have a rectangular prism and we know to find the volume, which is what it's asking us to do, we would normally do the length times the width times the height. But in this case, we only have the height and then we have the area of the base. So can we still find the volume? Yes, we can. Because we know that in order to find the area of the base here, we needed to know the length times the width would equal 20 feet. So area, length times width. So in this case, we would replace that with 20 because we already know that the area, the length times the width of the base was 20. And now in order to find the volume, we just need to multiply it by the three, which is the height, right? So 20 times three equals 60 feet, but I'm not done yet because I have to properly label. And remember how we answer volume? That's right, it's a three or cubic feet. So now that we know what our volume is of this rectangular prism here, and we know what the area is of the base, is there any way that we can go ahead and find out what the length and the width might be? Yes, actually we can. Because we know that the formula for area was length times width, we need to think what are the different factors that equal 20? So what times what equals 20? Well, there are a couple of different factors that equal 20. We know five times four equals 20. So we could have five be here and four be here. We also know that 10 times two equals 20. So 10 could be here and two could be here. Just looking at this picture, we're probably more likely to have five times four be our um, length and our width, but you can't always just determine by looking at a picture what it is. So really the possibilities could be five and four or 10 and two. Now it's your turn to try. So for tonight's practice problems, problems number one, two, and three go together. Problem number one is asking you what is the volume? So here we know that the area of the base is 56 centimeters squared. So what would we do to find the volume? Question number two says, what is the possible length and width in problem number one? And then number three, what formula did you use to find the volume of number one? And then numbers four and five, you're simply going to use the given measurements to find the volume. Don't forget to label all of these correctly. Go ahead and pause the video and come back when you're ready for the answers. All right, coming back in five, four, three, two, one. All right, tonight's answers. The answer to number one is 336 cubic centimeters. We knew this because we divided 50, or sorry, we multiplied 56 times six. 
So what is the possible length and width in problem number one? Well, we're looking for the factors of 56, and we know that 7 and 8 are the only factors. So we know that 7 centimeters and 8 centimeters have to be the length and the width. And then here, what formula did we use to find the volume? Well, we used the base, which was the area of the base, which was 56 centimeters, and we multiplied it by 6 centimeters by the height, so base times height. Now down here, we just found the volume by measuring the length times width times height. So here in, for number four, it was 72 cubic feet, and for number five, it was 36 cubic centimeters. Okay, before you go, make sure you checked your work and you wrote how many you got correct out of five. Remember, be honest, this is not for a grade. Honestly, fill out your self-reflection. Could you teach a friend or are you still confused? And fill in the space for any questions you might still have. And don't worry, I'll be back for our final lesson in the topic coming up later. Hope you had a great night and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.